When it comes to uh, ALC business loans, Wells Fargo is really one of the friendliest uh, lenders that we have that we have researched. Have researched nearly thirty business lenders. Okay, so in today's conversation, I want to do an an in depth review, sort of uh, maybe uh, give you some tips, some tricks, and maybe uh, this will be a, a good opportunity, a good business loan for your ALC. Okay, so here is a review I really want you to pay attention to. So when we think about ALC business loans from Wells Fargo. At a glance, you need to understand that uh, Wells Fargo is a national behemoth. They're a national colossus in the banking sector. So they have uh, branches in, in every state. So this is kind of cool already. So it doesn't matter whether your ALC is in is in uh, Alaska or Hawaii or in continental uh, USA. You, you can still qualify for an ALC business loan from Wells Fargo. We have a convenient infrastructure for loan applications. And uh, so even though, again, depending on the state where you currently are, are at, some services may be or may not be available because see banking is regulated at the state level okay and so this is really important and one thing i also want to say here is that wells fargo still needs to work around some of the reputation issues they've had with uh, their customer service issues especially when it comes to alcs okay so here are the pros and cons of wells fargo the pros you have multiple types of financing available for alcs of all sizes small LCs, large LCs, single member LCs, multi member LCs. You have high borrowing amounts. Again, this is a financial colossus. So they do have the resources for it. They have the uh, the, the balance sheet that can actually help them fund the uh, multi hundred, multi thousands deals. Okay. And rates tend to be inexpensive, very cheap. This is a national bank. You have few additional fees and uh, the website advertising is clear in uh, and informative in our view. You have competitive interest rates and banking rewards. You have a large number of small business financing options, especially financing options for ALCs. You have more than 72 to 7300 physical locations if you prefer in bank, if you have to, if you prefer to have uh, in-person banking. What about the cons? Well, you have, uh, in some cases, they will want you to have a uh, high credit score requirements and funds can take a while to disperse. So those are things you need to be aware of, okay? But overall, Wells Fargo is really great. Wells Fargo is great for ALCs that are looking to work with a brick and mortar bank, okay? Wells Fargo has branches in most states. I mean, in, in, you know, there are a few exceptions though. And if you are an established ALC with a strong operating history, you will love Wells Fargo. And if, if your ALC is looking for an SBA preferred lender, Wells Fargo can help you out as well. So overall, this is a solid bank that has, uh, you know, national coverage, fantastic. Now, let me go a little deeper here. I really want to go a little deeper to explain to you what we're, we're really talking about. By the way, welcome back to the show. It's really, really a pleasure to have you here. And uh, we just enjoy having this kind of conversation every now and then talking about LCs and really explaining how you can actually take advantage of uh, LC credits. Now, let me also remind you of today's topic. We're talking about LC business loans from Wells Fargo, okay? And uh, one thing I want to say here is that let me just kind of give you the the ALC business financing at a glance at Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo does have, uh, they do have uh, SBA 7A loans. They have SBA 504 loans. They have unsecured line of credit. So, so your ALC must be uh, at least two years old. They have uh, unsecured line of credit businesses that are less than two years old. So your ALC, they have secure line of credit. They have commercial real estate loans, so they do have a lot of things. They, they even have healthcare practice loans for ALCs that are in the healthcare sector. So when we talk about the SBA 7A loans for your ALC, loan amounts up to, up to $5 million, repayment terms 10 years for most purposes, 25 years for purchase of commercial real estate, and the rates actually vary subject to SBA maximums. For SBA 504 loans, you have up to 5.4 million loans for certain projects. And Wells Fargo will add, add up to an additional $6.5 million. And the repayment term, up to 300 months for commercial real estate or 120 months for machinery or equipment. And the starting APR is around 
okay for an unsecured line of credit for if your alc is older than two years you are looking at ten thousand to one hundred fifty thousand dollars this is a revolving product okay so there's no repayment term and uh, so the apr is like around 2.5 percent all the way to 10.5 percent the end that uh, was fargo does charge an annual fee and uh, that's between $95 and $200. And you have an unsecured line of credit if your ALC is less than two years old. So here the amounts are lower. So you will get $5,000 to $50,000, okay? There is a five-year revolving term here and uh, the APR is starting at prime plus 4.5 percent okay so this is really to kind of help you and then you also have secure line of credit you have commercial real estate loan and, and healthcare practice loans i want to really go a little deeper to sort of explain to you here so if your alc is looking for sba 7 l loans you have heard it well, as Fargo is a great place to be. Okay, they, they they actually understand how the whole process works, and they'll get you, they'll get your ALC set up real quick for SBA 7A or SBA CDC 504 loans real quick. Okay, this is really important. And uh, but one thing I, I need to see here is that we have seen a lot of uh, so Wells Fargo does not have a let's say a business loan for your ALC. They don't have installment loans. They do have. Uh, ALC business line of credit. They have a uh, government backed, government guaranteed uh, loans, but don't they don't have unsecured business loans? This is one thing that we don't like with uh, Wells Fargo. But hey, listen, it is a, it is a strategic business decision they made after to to actually pull out of uh, at least to pull out now from the whole uh, business lending space in terms of uh, business loans. Okay, so if you consider if your ALC wants to do business with uh, Wells Fargo on the lending side, you can only have commercial real estate. You can only have healthcare acquisition financing. You can get government backed secure back, government backed uh, lending, so SBA backed lending, and lines of credit. So when we talk about the line of credit, the line of credit depend the amount you get depends on whether you have you want to secure the line of credit or you want to uh, just have it unsecured. If you have it secured. You can go all the way to one million, not a problem, because your collateral will, will actually serve as uh, the backup for the line of credit. If you don't want it, if you don't want it secure, in other words, if you want it unsecured, the amount you get will depend on uh, the age of your ALC. As I said before, if your ALC is less than two years old, the maximum you can get is fifty thousand dollars. But if your if your ALC is more than two is older than two years old, then you get up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So this is just uh, was Fargo trying to manage their credit risks here okay because if your alc is less than two years old who knows you know nobody knows i mean they, they, they believe in you but hey listen they have a business to run so the amounts you can qualify for will be lower okay this is really important to uh, to keep that in mind let's really talk about also commercial real estate loans okay so if if you if you if you are if you want to finance a commercial real estate project through your alc and uh with was fargo they can actually give you they can lend you up to a, up to 2.5 million dollars so you have fifty thousand dollars all the way to 2.5 million dollars okay and uh basically so they also have a refinancing loans for your alc so refinancing loans are also available for fifty thousand to 2.5 million dollars but the cash out portion can only be fifty thousand to half a million okay and the loan to value ratio on a refinancing uh, transaction must remain at 75 percent or lower and real estate equity loans and lines of credit share the same fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars limit along with an ltv limit of 75 percent so this is really important and they also actually so was fargo also help you if your alc is in the healthcare sector so they do have uh so the bank offers several types of financing options that can you can use to help alc like healthcare practitioners there are organized alc they can help them to uh, establish expand or acquire businesses from physicians to dentists to uh, to vets and uh, opto uh, optometrists okay so when we talk about the healthcare uh, acquisition financing thing you do have a lot of uh, a lot of products so you have uh, equipment loans lines of credit 
commercial real estate loans, and other Wells Fargo financing options can be used as healthcare practice LLC loans. Okay, so overall, when you think about Wells Fargo, the services offered revolve around three things: the government-backed loans, the business lines of credit, and for the other loans, the loans are usually healthcare loans or commercial real estate loans. So this is important to really know so that you are clear about what you get yourself into. Now, I want to talk to you about the borrower qualifications. But before I do that, I just want to remind you of today's topic. We're still having a conversation about the LC business loans from Wells Fargo. Okay, let's say you have a, an LC and you're trying to get a business loan from Wells Fargo. How do you go about doing the whole thing? Now, let me speak to you about the borrower qualifications. So, Wells Fargo uses a number of different guidelines to evaluate potential LC borrowers. So, in addition to uh, the the some, I will list some prerequisite like pretty soon. But you need to understand that uh, Wells Fargo will always look at your LC's capacity to convert assets to cash. So if you have uh, if you have declared bankruptcy within the last 10 years, the bank will be unlikely to extend your credit and you also need to have been profitable in the last two years. OK, so this is something that Fargo really takes it uh, takes very seriously. And in terms of the time in business, at least two years, but this varies by product. OK, so they want your LC to have at least two years. The FICO, the FICO score, what's Fargo will take you if you say if you start at 550 all the way to 640. OK. And revenue, this really can be uh, like what they have this uh, sort of weird uh, calculation where they want you to have one point five dollars. So one dollars fifty cents in cash flow for every dollar borrowed. OK, but but it's what they have on their website. But sometimes they really don't follow that. They would they will they would they would study each uh, each application on its own to really see what re what's really happening here. And one thing I want to say here is that. Overall, they require documents. They want to have your LLC business name, the address. Okay. They want to have the phone number, the date the, the LLC was first established, the ownership type, the number of LLC members, gross annual revenue, the percentage of ownership. Those are really, really important. The annual household income. Okay. So at least one owner with control and authority over the business must provide other types of information. So name, address, and phone number, social security number date of birth and the citizenship and for the prime line of credit the additional information required includes two years of personal tax returns personal financial statements two years of uh, alc business tax returns so that's 1065 form 1065 and uh, two years of company prepared year-end financial statements so you can see that the was fargo is, is really asking for a constellation of uh, documents just to make sure that they really understand your business and that they really can also evaluate the risk the potential risk that your alc could pose to them in a business uh, lending transaction Let me talk to you about the terms and fees here. So, you know, as a large bank, Wells Fargo offers a wide variety of ALC funding products through multiple divisions. Okay. And and uh, so when we talk about the terms of fees, let's just quickly go through each of them, at least uh, at least the big ones. So for the lines of credit, so if you are if, if you are looking for five thousand to fifty thousand dollars, that's called the small business advantage. Okay, then they have the ten thousand to uh 100,000, that's the business line. And uh, they have 100,000 to half a million. That's the prime line of credit. So usually the APR, the APR is around like the maximum is like 12 to 13%. And there are fees though for each line of credit. There are fees associated with them. But those fees, all those, uh, revol all those lines of credit are called revolving line of credit. Okay. So it's really important to understand this part. And uh, what about the SBA loan? Same thing. Here you have uh, amounts that go all the way to $6.5 million or so $5 million, depending on how much you have. And one thing I also want to say here is that Wells Fargo is an approved SBA lender. So they do they do have their own processes in place, but they still need to, to uh, comply with what the government wants, to them, wants them to do. Okay, Because when it comes to the SBA program, there is like a, a very strict way whereby uh, customers want to go, uh, customers want to see 
what's available, okay? And this is also important in terms of making sure that you are you are choosing, you who are listening to me right now, that you are choosing the right products for your ALC. So are you interested in SBA loan? What kind of funding do you need? What is your credit score like? What is your personal FICO score like? What is your personal uh, financial statement like? And do you think that uh, Wells Fargo can actually provide like their uh, line, lines of credit could actually give you uh, what you need in terms of the additional cash you need? So those are conversations you need to have so that you are clear about what type of uh, funding that you need. And one thing I also need to say here is that, see, the, uh, the Wells Fargo line of credits are revolving, but Wells Fargo is constantly monitoring your usage. They're constantly monitoring your usage to make sure that you are within a certain, like a certain uh, bandwidth, if you if you were to ask me, okay? Let me talk to you now about the application process, because, you know, if, you, if your ALC wants to get a business loan from Wells Fargo, there are things you need to do to actually get your application uh, approved real quick. One thing I want to say here is that it really helps if your ALC already has an account with uh, Wells Fargo, right? It will really help it, a business bank account that is a business bank account. And uh, what you want to do here is that you can apply online or you can apply at a branch. And uh, applying at a branch is really, is a lot better, okay? You boost your chances of being approved real quick and this is really fantastic. And one thing I also want to say here is that you really want to make sure that you are constantly, uh, like how do I call it? You are constantly checking the, requirements to make sure you have uh, everything you need okay and one thing i also want to say here is that depending on the line of credit or depending on the the, the product that you want to apply for was fargo may ask you different different uh, requirements may actually place different requirements okay in terms of the business uh, paperwork to provide in terms of uh, all all the other uh, all the other uh, requirements okay and also in in terms of financial statements when it comes to financial statements, Wells Fargo is known to be really, really, really granular. They will ask you to provide both personal financial statements and also business financial statements. So you have this dual work that you have to do here, okay? So, and what, what they will do here is that they will actually see if there is consistency. In addition to that, the thing is, if you happen to be a single member LLC, then you're then you, then you are getting actually from Wells Fargo all the things you need to have to make sure you like you're basically you're basically getting things like uh tax returns you want to see they want to see your tax return your 1065 they want to see your schedules schedule scale one okay and Wells Fargo is also really uh, transparent in terms of uh, sales and advertising we love that a lot fantastic okay this is something they really they really have been doing a lot of good work in the last few years and uh, also in terms of their customer service and, and uh, technical support they still have to do they still have stuff to do so you can actually reach them via several uh channels okay phone support email support live chat dedicated uh, support representatives but it's really really not where it should be so yes it is what it is now let me talk to you quickly about the reviews one thing we need to understand here is that as a gigantic banking institution, Wells Fargo is not known for its personal touch. It can it cannot be. So expect to have to navigate through some menus to reach the level of help you need anyway. Okay. And but the thing is that uh there are there have been on the internet some user reviews that are really, really poor. Okay. People were complaining about the Wells Fargo customer service. They think that it is really crappy at times, okay? And uh, th th they're saying that it is very hard to navigate and ineffective at resolving problems. And and note that most of this involves banking service complaints like overdraft disputes, not like LLC business loan dis disputes, okay? There might, be, there might be some technical issues sometimes. So related to customer service, a number of customers report running into glitches and technical products that make it difficult to use accounts accurately track their balances and have payments credited when they need to be okay what about scandals okay this is where it gets wild so was fargo's reputation has suffered due to a number of scandals including customers being signed up to sign up for fake accounts fraudulent charges over overcharging credit cards and retaliation against whistleblowers okay so 
This is really important. So you need to know about those things before you choose Wells Fargo for your LLC business loan. Okay. And uh, in terms of positive reviews and testimonials, you have efficiency. So a number of customers find Wells Fargo's uh, lending processes to be smooth, really efficient and more modern than many of, the, of its competitors. Was You have accessibility. So Wells Fargo operates in most of the country, making it easy to access and meet representatives face to face when necessary. And so there are also, uh, Wells Fargo has a willingness to work with ALC small businesses. So while many large banks have become wary of uh, giving loans to ALC and small businesses in general, Wells Fargo offers a robust line of products, okay, to customers who don't have enormous commercial resources. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about Wells Fargo, ALC business loans from Wells Fargo. And I just want to quickly uh, remind you of today's conversation. So the recap here. So we spoke about the, the loans at a glance, the different types of loans that Wells Fargo actually offered. We talked about the uh, the repayment terms, the, the cost. Okay. So that you have a clear idea and that we just explained to you some of the things that we need to have to make sure that our picture is a lot different, is a lot better than what the people are seeing on the internet. Thank you.